Hey YouTube, welcome to this new Ulisse tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to backup your whole disk drive onto an external disk drive, okay? Um, for this task I'm going to use a very nice software which is very simple and it's called SuperDuper, okay? Uh, it's a free software, well basically there's two versions, one is free, one is not and the free version, though, it's it'll be more than if, than enough for backing up and creating a carbon copy of your internal disk drive. Okay. So now the question is, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to create a, an exact copy of your internal disk drive into onto an external disk drive? Well, in my case, for example, the reason is that I want to test the new Mac OS X Lion. Okay, and um, just in case the lion doesn't work on this computer or it doesn't work the way I like it, I want to be able to go back easily on the uh, system that I am currently using, which is a Snow Leopard, and which I'm happy with. So basically, I want a simple way to go back to my whole operating system. That could be one reason. The other reason would be just uh, that you want to back up your data and your whole hard drive, and you want you don't want to use Time Machine or any other software, and you just want to make it simple and uh, just you know just create a carbon copy. And this way, I mean, super duper. It's really great. It's got a very simple interface, and it's uh, very easy to use. So we go to the download link here. I'm gonna do a right click and I'm gonna save the link with download. It's not gonna take a long time. It's only about yeah 2.9 megabytes. So it's not a, a heavy software. Okay. Now as usual, once we download it, we just go to the download folder. Uh, we double click on it, we agree to the terms of and conditions, and there you go. Okay, we have the super duper installation. We just need to drag it and drop it into the application folder. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop it here. It's probably gonna ask me, yeah. I have an older version of a super duper, so I'm just going to say say replace because this this version here it's uh, compatible with OS 10 Lion. Okay, so now that super duper is installed, I'm going to back it up. So I'm going to open the application here. Super duper. There you go. Open. And it's opening up with the user guide. I've already used it, so I know how it works. But guy, feel free to to browse through this guide because it's very informative. All right. So, let's go to the application, and as you see, it is very simple. So, we are going to copy the Macintosh HD, which is the whole hard drive, okay, to, and in my case, uh, I've uh, partitioned my external hard drive in different uh, formats, We've, I've got, I partitioned it in two formats, which are compatible with uh, Mac OS um, file system. All right, and the other partitions are 
um, formatted with the uh, Windows NTFS system. So only two of them are readable. So I'm gonna select Mac copy, which already holds a super duper clone, but I just want to make a new clone. So I'm gonna select Mac copy, and I'm gonna say using backup all files, okay? Just as simple as that. The super duper does everything itself automatically. So we just say copy now. I'm gonna ask you for your user password. And just press OK. We're about to raise Mac copy. It's gonna give us another warning that we're gonna we are about to delete the Mac copy partition of our external disk drive, and then we say yes, I'm sure I want to copy. Uh, and that's it. As simple as that. Alright. Um, so now I'm gonna pause the video and I will get back to you guys when the backup has finished, alright? The copy is finished. Mm, it took about an hour uh, of lapse time to copy around, let's say, this is the partition we copied. And it had 35.05 gigabyte of data. So it took about an hour for that amount of um, um, data has to be copied. An hour, it's not too bad. And uh, now I'm just gonna say okay, and it's very important here that it checked the option that uh, made the Mac copy bootable. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna what I'm going to try to do now, I'm going to try to uh, boot my machine from the Snow Leopard that I copied in here, okay? Let's see if it's gonna work, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna switch the machine on and I'm gonna press this button here, okay? Just by, just beside the Apple button. And as you can see, it's giving me three options here. The Macintosh HD option with Snow Leopard, uh, of the internal hard disk drive, uh, the Windows uh, on Bootcamp that I have on the same internal hard disk drive, and then the FE boot, which presumably it's the um, the external disk drive, which was made bootable by SuperDuper. So let's give it a try to this FE boot and see. Let's see what's going to happen. And there you go. Exactly, exactly the same way I had it on the I had it on the internal at this drive. I'm just gonna key in the password for my user, and that's it. It's a bit slower and uh, loading all the application, all the uh, configuration of startup, but. Uh, Still, it, it works fine. You see, just uh, the very same way I had it before. Okay, the very same thing. Okay, guys. So uh, now it comes the tricky part. Okay, so if you want to restore the backup that you just uh, copied in here, okay, you've got to do it uh, booting up from this operating system. Okay because you want to copy it from here into the internal hard drive. And uh, you cannot do it if you're logged in using the internal hard drive. So at the moment, I'm recording by using the operating system that's in this 
uh, external hard drive. Okay, and as you can see, I can copy the the cone I just made back into the Macintosh HD. If you if you logged in uh, through the Macintosh HD itself, and I, if I were using now, if I was using now uh, the operating system of this uh, hard drive, I wouldn't be able to copy this Mac copy into this hard disk drive because, um, well, uh, you cannot do it while you're working on it. You know, so. So that, that, that makes sense. Anyway, so, and you just copy it back, you know, you copy now and you will restore the operating system the way you copied it, okay? Well, that's a bit tricky, but um, I hope it, it makes sense to you. And um, yeah, that's it for me, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, soon I will post a tutorial on how to um, burn a Mac OS X Lion image onto a DVD and then how to install the OS X Lion onto your uh, Macintosh. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, super duper.